gospel of the kingdom. For more than 16 centuries, Israel had waited and prayed for the coming of Messiah's kingdom to exalt them and to bless the world. The announcement that the kingdom was at hand was a good message or gospel. But not enough Jews were in condition of heart to be Israelites indeed, worthy to share with Jesus in the glorious service of his great, long-promised kingdom. He came unto his own people, but his own received him not. They crucified him, but to as many as received him, few, he gave the liberty or privilege of becoming sons of God, of passing from the house of servants under Moses to the house of sons under the headship of Jesus. This was effected at Pentecost, by the begetting of the Holy Spirit. Not enough worthy Jews being found, the kingdom offer was withdrawn from them, and for 19 centuries, God has been completing the foreordained number from saintly Gentiles. Outward signs and the prophecies demonstrate that the kingdom was not set up them and did not begin to bless the world. Instead, all the unready of Israel were broken off from divine favor for a time, while the call to the kingdom was sent to the Gentiles to take out of them a people to complete the foreordained body of Christ. Holy, saintly characters from every nation have been gathering for 19 centuries until now the number is nearly complete and the kingdom about to be established. When, therefore, the election of the spiritual seed of Abraham shall be accomplished, this gospel age will end. Then will begin the messianic age in which Christ and the church shall reign in spirit power. Then the blindness of Israel will be removed and the blessings of the new dispensation will come to them and through them to all the families of the earth as God promised. That the church is the spiritual seed of Abraham to bless natural Israel and the world is clearly shown by St. Paul.